I have been going through, as it seems, problem after problem after problem after problem. I could whine and be depressed. I probably can become upset and whatever else. But I truly believe much of what we go through, much of the things that seem bad can it be good? At least for me, some things may start, I guess, bad. But after a while, it seems like that bad thing opens up a pathway to good things. So if you are trying to live for Jesus Christ and it seems like back to back bad things are happening to you to where you feel like quitting or giving up on Jesus Christ, which is the same thing as quitting, don't. I was reading with someone and this is about something else. And we were in, we are in the book of Acts. And I guess to make a long story shorter, Peter healed through the power of the Holy Spirit. Peter healed a lame man. Now, if I am saying this correctly, the Pharisees and I think some other people were trying to figure out a way on how to punish Peter and John, I think it was. Even though, like, I believe the Pharisees or whoever they were knew that what Peter and John was saying was right. I believe they knew what Peter did was of God, but still they were trying to get, get Peter to be quiet about Jesus Christ. And that kind of made me think, if I am saying this correctly, I believe the Pharisees were the teachers of the law. So, in a sense, I guess I can say, they were supposed to be men of God. But... they were trying to hold back the truth. Listen now, just because someone is a pastor, bishop, deacon, elder, or whomever, whatever position in the church, it doesn't mean, let me say this right, it doesn't mean you should follow them blindly. It doesn't mean you should go by what they say blindly. Because what if that pastor or that bishop or whomever is a false teacher or a false prophet or a wolf in sheep's clothing. Would you be willing to be led astray because someone holds a title? 
Even if someone claims to be Christian, does it mean you should be trusting of that person? Please listen to what I am saying. I think if someone claims to be a Christian or man of God, I think you have to be, in some cases, I guess, even more careful with those people. Even if I become pastor or bishop or whatever, does it mean you should follow whatever I say? Does it mean I will never be wrong? Does it mean I will never be corrupt? Look now. I guess you can follow a person as long as they are following Jesus Christ. Once somebody gets off the ship, gets off the boat, as in stop living for Jesus Christ, don't follow that person anymore. And you may say, how would I know? How, how will I know if someone is not living for Jesus Christ? Well, I believe we know the fruit. Am I saying this right? I believe we know the tree by its fruit. So there should be something about me, whether what I am saying, how I am living, it should show you in a way, I guess, who I am. So if I begin to say false things and continue to do so, if I go around telling people to live for Jesus Christ and you see me doing really evil things consistently, and if I am telling you all I am a Christian, then you know that it is more than likely I am not a Christian. Why? Because of what you see. Don't blindly trust leaders. Judge them, as in, look at them like, hey, should I do what this person is saying? Like, what this person is saying sounds kind of off. Should I just do it anyway because that is pastor so and so? Don't do that. Judge what people say. Don't blindly follow a person if what they are saying seems wrong. Test it. Test to see if it is of God. Just don't do it. I have been reading the Bible. And as it seems, the more I read, the more I notice that there are some things I have been taught wrongly. I believe there are some things people are still teaching wrongly, which I don't know everything. Look, don't let a leader lead you to hell. Take out time and read the Bible. With my reading partner, I have that person to read. I know, I don't know everything, but I think that person knows less. So I have that person to read and explain it or have that person explain it as we go. There may be some things we don't know, but because I want to show that person and I believe I have been showing that person, it is not me saying so-and-so and so-and-so. -and -so. 
like you see it for yourself. You see it's written. So you are seeing the same thing I am saying. So you can't say I am just trying to place ideas in your head. You see it. Unless I am explaining it wrongly. So please, 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 please test what people say. Because I think everyone have the ability to error. And I think there are some people purposely teaching the wrong stuff. Let me stop here. God bless you.